You know, in one of my videos, I said my goal was to make my hair look like that plant, and I think we're almost there. And I'm pretty sure today's the day that my hair is gonna call social services on me. Currently, it is 8 p.m. right now, and uh, I'm back to bleach my hair again. Basically, when I bleached my whole head, there were some parts that didn't really end up the same. So at the moment, my hair's a little bit uneven. Like, this part is lighter, and then this part is quite brassy on the ends. It's just all this hair in the back and my ends. I don't know why all of my back hair decided to take an early spring break. My hair only had one job and that was to be mistreated by me and it couldn't even do that properly. It's just kind of bugging me. Every time I look at myself, I'm always like, could look a bit more even. Also, maybe a little bit more um, moisturized. moisturized. But I swear that this will probably be my last bleach session, I think. I'm not making any promises. I don't know, we'll just see what happens. But I'm pretty sure the ends of my hair can handle a little bit more bleach just because it didn't get as processed as all of my other hair. Right? Is that how it works? I don't know. We're just doing a little bit of bleaching. It, it will be fine, hopefully. I mean, that's what all the YouTube tutorials told me, so... Hmm, actually, maybe I shouldn't put too much trust in strangers online. I feel like 90% of the time, actually maybe 100% of the time, you should probably not follow what I do. I'm the stranger, I'm the one that you guys shouldn't trust. But hey, until my hair falls out, you can trust me a little bit. Dead plant cosplay, here we come. So we're just sectioning my hair right now. We're just trying to save this front part because this part was the most damaged out of everything else. So we're just putting it here. Hopefully no bleach will get on it. And then we'll bleach all this other stuff. Maybe not this part. Oh my God, this part is so white. So we're just sectioning right now. We have a plan. Not again. Not again. Your hair looks like croissants actually when it's put up. Croissants? There's different colors of blonde. It looks oh, like I mean it adds dimension. Highlights and low lights. <laughs> Highlights and low lights. Yes, that's what we wanted. We totally meant to do that. Because if your hair is all just one color, there's no dimension. It looks I think flat. that's what Brad Mondo said. I think so. I think if Brad says it, it must be okay. And we're back again with fresh ingredients to bleach my hair. But this time, we have a secret ingredient. Is the secret ingredient still blurry? Well, I'm sure it's fine. It's not like this is a tutorial. Okay, this lighting makes my hair look. Not good. Okay, this orange part, we're gonna fix this. We're gonna make it all one even color, hopefully. If not, then maybe it'll fall off and everything will be even that way. We're trying to figure out whether we need to put this in bleach mixture. So is it this? Or is it this? Or is it all of this combined? <laughs> what could go wrong? Everything's fine. Everything's blurry. Oh my god. Oh no. Sound of farts. What are the ingredients in this that makes it bond hair? Brad Mondo didn't even know or what the stuff is that like the science behind it. Like I think he said something that makes disulfide bond in your hair. Oh yeah, because Olaplex does that. So then we need one and a half. Yes. Did you guys know we learned all of this by ourselves at home? So you don't have to go to hair school, just do it all at your home and try. See what works. <laughs> all the hairdressers be like, uh, okay, no. police, oh. arrest them. Yes, our mixture looks a lot better. Last time it was kind of dry. It was like a liquid, but dry. Looks like more like yogurt texture. <laughs> yeah, you know, it'll start here maybe. Okay. Ooh, back again. I can't believe you did this a month ago already. I feel like it was only like two weeks ago. Yeah. In one month, what have I accomplished? You learned how to bleach hair. And that was it, honestly. Oh yeah, this time we have foil. Wow, an so, upgrade. Yeah, upgrade. We actually upgraded our equipment this time, so our salon is a little bit more professional. Seal the deal. This is so much easier. Less messy. Yeah, than letting the hair just like flop everywhere. Oh my god. Wow. A real hair salon. Who needs to go to a professional? I'm just kidding everyone, please support your local hairstylist, which in turn supports the economy. Don't do a black market hair bleaching sessions in people's bathroom like this. Sometimes the camera makes it look better, yeah. and sometimes it makes it look really bad. Like sometimes it look, makes me look like that. Oh my god, what happened to his hair? I don't know. <gasps> Who did that? I think he was that. Oh, oh, you can't even see it. Oh, we're almost done. So far it was going pretty smoothly, but you know what they say, once math becomes involved, only bad things happen. An ounce of each? Shouldn't it be half an ounce? Half an ounce of each. Oh, yes. Okay, you know what? Oops. <laughs> <laughs> A little more. Definitely probably an ounce and a half. Oh, that's okay. So I think enough time has passed. I only said it seems light, <laughs> lighter. Hopefully, once I wash my hair, I'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> I hope the secret ingredient works. Seems lighter. Oh my! Look at all the foil. This is all on my head. 
Okay, this is my hair washed. Um, it actually looks so, it looks even now. Uh, that's being a little too hopeful because my hair looks like this now. But I, I still have to tone my hair to make it not this yellow color. So after we tone, then, then I'll give you the final verdict. Yeah, see, in different lighting, it looks so different. I'm actually excited to see my hair this time. It looks so even. I have good hopes for this time. I think I think this is like the final, my final form, hopefully. The first times that I bleached my hair, I kind of knew that, oh, it might not look the best. But now I think, I think we finally did, I think we finally perfected our formula of bleaching my hair at, what time is it? 1 a.m. But hey, this is earlier than when we usually go to. Usually we're open till like 4 a.m. or 5. So good thing we will close early tonight. Hey guys, so it's the next day. <laughs> so after five long, tiring bleach sessions, this is the final outcome of my hair. And I'm uh, kind of impressed. I think it looks okay. <laughs> I think it looks okay. Right now I'm filming in natural lighting and this is what my hair looks like. It definitely looks different based on where you are in terms of lighting. Like when it's in kind of more darker lighting, it looks like this. And then when it's in normal lighting, normal lighting, sunlight, um, <laughs> it's just a little dry, don't worry. But overall, I think it looks really good. Uh, it definitely evened everything out, this final bleach session. Look, there's like barely any orange. Everything's more or less just one nice uniform color. If it's not uniform, um, just think of it as some highlights or lowlights or just, you know, dimension. You know, I actually like the way my hair looks when a little bit of my roots are showing. I feel like it just makes the hairstyle blend nicely with the other color. Toner and leave-in conditioner have become my very best friends. Did you guys know you can put hair products in your hair after you finish washing your hair to make it less dry and crispy? Because, um, why didn't I do that before? Good morning! Or, not good morning, um... Okay, it is not definitely not morning. I'm making some uh, supper right now. I am making chili because after bleaching my hair five times, you tend to get kind of hungry. This is why I bleached my hair, just to, so I can be a housewife. But yeah, look at the lighting. It changes your hair so much. Because right now I'm in, um, what's the word? In industrial? Ho home sense? Home lighting? I'm using indoor lighting, which makes my hair look yellow. It looks like I didn't tone it at all. So uh, don't believe what you see on the camera. Yeah, close up, it even looks yellow. Yeah, what the heck, it definitely doesn't look that yellow in like real life. But regardless, uh, like I said, I bleached my hair just so I could do one thing, cook food while looking like this. And while I was waiting for my chili to cook itself, I was doing a little bit of self-reflection and thinking about things like, oh, what if I just dyed my hair black the next day? Or, hmm, a buzz cut sounds kind of refreshing right now. Oh, with a blonde buzz cut, I can finally pull off my Jesse J cosplay. I've been saving that one for quite a while. You know, you only live once, might as well try things while you can. And by that I mean while I still have hair. Hi, I'm back. I just wanted to try this one hairstyle. Um, I tried to do it last time, but it didn't really work out. So, my friend... <laughs> is, gonna, is gonna help me, uh, help me try and attempt this Hyunjin hairstyle. Wow, we really, we really became a salon. <laughs> yeah, it's your camera. Okay. <laughs> well, at least the party broke off today. But only the one side broke off, this other side's for some reason stayed on. I don't know why. Wow, in the salon, we can use my used body pin. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Okay, so I think it's just two, two strands. Yeah, you know, let's just do it. That looks about where he's at. That looks, yeah, that looks right. Yeah, okay, great. So I'm pretty sure that uh, in this hairstyle, he used probably some string that you can cut into the amount that you want. But unfortunately, I didn't have any string. So we're gonna use the shoelace that I found. Oh, actually, you hold the shoelace. Like this? Yeah. Actually, can you hold your hair too? In this salon, you just want to <laughs> <laughs> hold your own hair. And I don't want to cut the shoes, the shoelace either, because I'm gonna reuse it on my shoe. <laughs> so it might be too long, but I don't know. I also washed the shoelace with shampoo because it, it's going in my hair, so it's gonna be dirty. So I want it to be clean. Why is there more string? Then they just, just wrapped it. Maybe and like in the ponytail. Maybe I can just like stuff it in somewhere and hopefully it'll stay. Yeah, I glued this out, but you know. Okay. Actually, you could just leave it like that. I'm sure it's fine. It's my extension. Oh, I look like I'm balding from this angle. Huh? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Does your dad still have a full head of hair? Or has he started losing hair at all? I feel like guys are just more prone to hair loss. Yeah, I'll finish it and then we'll see what you want. <laughs> you know, I'm sure it's fine. Like... I feel like it's fine. Oh no. Oh, the shoes are in the back of your 
Wait, where's the shoes? Oh, the shoes. There was one that was down your back. I was just gonna tuck it in my shirt and just not show the back. Look up for me, Rod. Perfect. Ooh, crusty shoes. <laughs> no, they're clean. I shampooed them. Not bad. <laughs> no, not bad. They're just that's like the gist of it. I feel like it. Moral of the story. Is there one? <laughs> oh wait, I know what it is. Moral of the story, if you feel like bleaching or dyeing your hair yourself, just do it because there's a chance that it could turn out okay. Ooh, you guys should definitely not be taking lessons from um, anyone on this channel. But today I am swearing to you guys. Uh, actually, my hair is swearing to you. I will not be putting bleach on my hair anymore. For now at least. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, I might need to bleach my roots, what can I say? But for now, I am just going to feed my hair only hair treatments, hair masks, Olaplex every single day until it is healthy again. Also, maybe like a little bit of water? <laughs> it's looking a little parched. Well, if you want to keep updated with me and my hair that is hanging on for dear life, you can follow me on all my socials, which is down in the description, and you can join me and my freshly bleached hair on Twitch. And don't forget, a like and a comment on this video feeds the YouTube algorithm its breakfast for the day. And for every like and a comment, I get to grow back one single strand of hair. There's one piece over here that definitely needs a little bit of growing. Why is my scalp like a plant? It, it needs water and food, and I am killing it. Well, good lesson to know. I, I should not have children.